This video is concerning RF samplers. RF samplers allow you to read the modulation waveform that's coming from your transmitter, okay? Or let's just say transceiver. I've gotten quite a few emails just in the last two weeks asking how to use it or how to set it up even. Now, if you go to my community um, portion of my channel, I do have diagrams set up for uh, transmitter testing and receive testing and the equipment that belongs in those two genres, okay? So it shows the equipment and how to hook it up. Now I know a diagram ain't much, but this is for the guys, which are one, two, three, five guys who have been hitting me up, asking me, what's the easiest way to set up an RF sampler for an oscilloscope? We're gonna so. sit you down back here. There we go. The first thing you wanna get yourself is an RF sampler. They're all over the place. You can actually make them yourself, okay? Unfortunately, I don't have the time to make them myself, so I just buy one. This RF sampler here is 300 watts, okay? It's a 300 watt rating. So, the first piece of knowledge with your RF sampler that you need to know is you need to have a wattage rating for whatever equipment you're trying to view on the O-scope, okay? So this is 300 watts. So I, I know I can, you know, use a 300 up to a, you know, 295 watt radio, you know, or a amplifier and radio mashup. But if you exceed the 300 watts, you burn up the RF sampler, that travels to your O-scope and you burn up your O-scope as well, okay? So this RF sampler or any RF sampler needs to be rated for the equipment that you are testing or viewing throughout the O-scope. Now, you get yourself a mail-to-mail -mail hookup, okay? It's just like this. Get yourself a male to male hookup. All right. Get that screwed on. Okay, and get that screwed on. Now, it's that easy, okay? Here's your installed RF sampler, but it's not done yet. We also need BNC cable, okay? So it's expensive RG, uh, was it 316 or 216 here? I can't remember, it's expensive stuff. Okay, the other end goes to your O-scope, all right? Now, we're not done yet, man. We all know that your RF sampler, or let's say the radio system that's hooked up to the watt meter, to your oscope, it needs either an antenna or a dummy load, okay? So, you can take a piece of coax and wire it up from your RF sampler to your dummy load, okay? And if, if you're gonna be on the air and you're trying to use your oscilloscope to make sure you're not splattering, then it'll be to your antenna, of course, okay? So, basically you would get another double uh, male adapter and connect the RF sampler other end to the dummy load, all right? So that's basically, basically what you'll have. All right, so you just need another double male to male connector here. All right, so pretend there's a radio here. You key up your radio, it's going in the watt meter, okay? 
into your RF sampler and into the dummy load or into an antenna, okay? That's the basics. This is the easiest method, okay? Well, one of the easiest methods to hook up an RF sampler to your radio system on air or to your test bench on a dummy load. All right, guys? Now, I know a lot of you pretty much know this whole setup pretty well. You're watching my videos, and this right here is my dummy load. This right here is my tone generator, okay? This right here is my RF sampler. This is a BK Precision 1040 CB Service Master, okay? I got three of these damn things. I love them so much. They're a gem. They're a, a, a diamond piece of equipment, okay? Um, unfortunately, they don't make them anymore. And unfortunately, these things are a pain in the ass to repair, man. Just the whole breakdown assembly process is a pain in the ass. But this right here is um, one of my favorite pieces of equipment. Why? Because it completely takes out the fact that an external tone generator is needed. You know, I can hook up a signal generator to it, an oscilloscope to it, and a frequency counter to it. It's just a badass piece of equipment all rolled into one. So the reason why I choose to use this, um, so I don't have to run an external RF sampler. I don't have to run an external tone generator, okay? So, and I don't have to run an external dummy load. It's all in here. And you know what? Uh, this is a 100 watt, 100 watt dummy load in this. So if I have anything over 100 watts, I just take out the dummy load, direct it, inject it right here, then turn over to external RF load, okay? Mind the dust, guys. This is for internal dummy load, and that's for external dummy load. This is why I love this piece of equipment. All right, guys, I pretty much summed that up, man, with the RF sampler and stuff like that. Like I say, um, I know a lot of you guys probably aren't into it, but I've been getting too many emails about it. So I figured I'd do a quick video of it, okay? And hopefully this has squared things up. Uh, oh, and note the fact, though, when you do have an external tone generator that you want to inject the radio with to see your modulation on your oscope, you also have to create a key box for the radio. Tone generators will not key up a radio, okay? So you have to actually wire it up to a key box to where you can key the radio up. The tone is injected into the uh, mic port. But note this as well to all the guys that are doing that. It's best to use the microphone the guy is going to be using with the radio and use audio generator okay so when my one kilohertz tone comes in it's being injected into the guy's microphone okay so i'm not saying that's matching the mic to the radio but as we all know every microphone just about is different okay considering ohm's law considering impedance and frequent frequency response okay so to Audibly inject the tone directly into a radio without using the mic. Yeah, I don't do those methods. I don't do that at all. I try to match everything up as much as I can that the guy is going to be using. Okay? But, like I say, some guys directly inject the tone. I prefer to use a microphone that the operator is going to be using with the setup. All right, guys. I hope this finds you in good health. Hope this finds you in good time. And, uh, yeah, for all you guys that have emailed me about it, um, when you're done, you get it all together, and it's working, give me an email, man. Shoot me a video. Let me see the setup. Let me see what you got going on. Yes, I am a hobbyist as well. I love this damn hobby, so. And, uh, yeah, we're going to shut it down just like that. All right, guys, 204, ground control. Black Ops technology, and we're gone.